to continue our discussion about trauma, wondering, hey, like, where do things like child abuse um, or childhood traumas fit in here? What about things like neglect? What about things like emotional abuse, not just physical abuse? What about physical abuse that doesn't really land you in the hospital and you're not severely injured? Um, things that happen in childhood erode our sense of safety, our sense of, of empowerment. We're small, right? Can you imagine not being able to defend yourself because somebody bigger than you and somebody who is supposed to be taking care of you and somebody who you rely on for all of your basic needs is not taking care of them or is withholding them as a transactional. If you don't listen to me, you don't get food. Um, if you talk back to me or if you misbehave or if I perceive you as being disrespectful, then you have to get out of the car and you have to walk home from school four miles in the rain and you're six years old. Um, so those things are abusive. Those things erode the trust. Um, they keep the child from being able to really look at the world in a way that is, I guess, unbiased. Everything then becomes dangerous. Every adult become, has a potential for danger. Now, what we've seen is that the people who have post-traumatic growth after a history of abuse in their childhood tend to be those people who met that one adult in their lifetime who cared enough to break through the wall that they built around themselves to protect themselves from further abuse or further neglect or further emotional harm because of, of the things that were going on in their household. So I encourage you to maybe try to be that one person. Or if you've experienced some childhood trauma, try to think back and think of that one person who maybe you weren't able to open up to, but who maybe made themselves available if you felt safe enough to do so. And I also encourage you to connect with a therapist and work through some of these skewed perceptions of yourself, of others, of the world, and work yourself back to a point of, or work yourself to a point, maybe not even back to a point, you may have never felt this way before, but to a point where you can trust yourself and trust your judgment and be able to create healthy relationships, not based on fear of abandonment or well, I've been abused my whole life and I don't recognize what abuse is and I'm not feeling great about this person in this relationship or myself in this relationship, but it's what I know, it's familiar. Um, I strongly encourage you to get healthy and have some of that post-traumatic growth. We'll talk about that in another video.